going guys welcome back to another youtube video today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to install ulc for your server um obviously if you're if you already are playing on a server you don't need to do this there's no like client-sided part of this um that's only for 32 cent this is for if you're installing it into your server um and this is important to watch if you for example have bought in my empower pack which uses ulc stuff or you've bought in someone else's stuff or you know whatever um basically ulc enables a bunch of features for uh cars um and on top of that it has a nice ui of whatever you want i believe you can change it to whatever picture you want unless i think that might be something you have to photoshop up but um for the most part um it's really easy to install um, so if you guys go to the link in the description and click it, it's going to take you to this GitHub. If we go ahead and scroll down, we're going to see the ulc.zip right here. All you got to do is click on it. It's going to come up here to the downloads and then you click on it there. You can see I've already downloaded it. Um, make sure you have like RINRAR or 7-zip to unpackage this file. And once you have that, you can click it and open it. And all we got to do is go to our server, open up the resources tab. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. We're gonna right click and create a new folder. We're gonna name it ULC. We're gonna open it and we're just gonna drag all these files directly into this folder. And it's very important that you name this folder ULC. I'm pretty sure if it's named anything else, it might not work. So make sure you name it ULC and you should be good. Um, before we move any further, just make sure you go into your CFG of your server and start ULC. So here I have start ULC. Um, some people do ensure um, I just do start since this is a test server, it doesn't really matter. Um, so start or ensure it, um, whichever one works. So the main reason why you guys have installed this is to get vehicles that you've bought in um, to work um, because they said they had ULC compatibility. So at this point, you guys have installed ULC, but there's still more to do to actually get it to work for the vehicles. So for example, um, my new latest ULC pack that I'm working on, um, they all have ULC. Now, if we load it in game right now, the ULC features would not work. Um, so what we need to do to add our vehicle to ULC is to open up whatever vehicle you have. I'm just going to open up the 2020 FPIU. And there should be a ULC.lua in here. If not, and you just see the basic meta files, uh, you might have gotten lied to because that means it's not ULC compatible. Um, but if you have a USC Lua like I do here, we can right click on it and open. I like to use um, Visual Studio um, code, not Visual Studio. The purple one is not good. Um, but as you guys can see, if I move a camera over here, um, there is um, the name of the file. So up here, you can see the name is ULC 20 FPIU. We need to actually copy this and we need to bring that into our config of our ULC script. So we go to our ULC script folder and open it. And then again, right click on this to open it with Visual Studio Code for config. We're gonna scroll down all right, and so we are in the config. If we look right here, you're gonna see external vehicle sort resources. Um, you can see there's an example there already. Um, we can just copy that and paste our thing. So make sure we're using the double quotes, not the single quotes, not the double quotes. So hold shift and then press the quote button or the uh, quote key. And we're going to paste our vehicle, which I don't have paste anymore, but I know what it is. It's ULC 20 FPIU. And then we're going to make sure we add a comma after that and we can just leave this if we want to i'm just going to go ahead and delete it i'll um, just make a difference um and that's it if we wanted to add another car all we got to do is do the double quotes again let's do ulc 20 fpiu slick make sure you do not forget that comma and that's it so that's how you add vehicles that have ulc compatibility into the config and we go in game here in a second you'll see that they will work and my other cars that are not in this config or setup with the script are not going to work even though they are ulc compatible so let's go ahead and go in game all right guys we are in game if we go ahead and spawn in our vehicle that is enabled with the uh, ulc config you guys will see that in the bottom right we have our ulc and i'm the creator of this vehicle so i can tell you right now um, everything that i have set up is indeed working um, but if we, for example, go ahead and spawn a vehicle that I know is not in the config of the ULC script, it should not work. Let's test my theory. As you guys can see, in the bottom right hand, the UI is gone. 
and when I hit the lights, it's probably not going to work. Yeah. As you guys can see, the lights are not even correct, and I also cannot press one or two to enable the cruise lights. So that is how you install USC as a server owner um, when you buy USC compatible cars. Um, this video should be useful for anyone that is buying my stuff as well because it is kind of a confusing thing. However, I do include a file that has the USC config. You just copy and paste it, and that's it. Um, but maybe you bought some bought something from someone else and don't have that. Um, either way, I hope you guys had a great day, and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.